Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com and my new website, onlinephotographytraining.com. This short video will be of interest to those of you that shoot infrared photography with an infrared converted camera. You know that when you shoot images with an infrared converted camera, your image will often look like this. And to make it look like a beautiful infrared shot, you have to bring it over to Photoshop and do some magic. At the very least, you're going to have to swap color channels and do other things to make the image look like a nice infrared shot. Well, with the advent of Lightroom 7.3 and the ability to use a LUT file to create a profile, I created some Lightroom profiles that do the infrared conversion for you in Lightroom. So you don't have to go to Photoshop anymore to process your image. Now, for example, I have this image. It was shot with an actually a very cheap pocket camera. I think it was a Panasonic uh, camera that was converted to infrared. And if I open up the basic tab and go to the profile browser, I call them Morganti Infrared Profiles, and there's a number of different profiles in here. I have a number of them for 720 nanometer, nanometer, 665 nanometer, and 590 nanometer converted cameras. Now, depending on your camera, you may not see much of a difference between these different wavelengths. Some cameras, especially this cheap little Panasonic I was using, doesn't really render or recognize the full scope of infrared light like it should or like it could or like some better cameras may. So you won't see a lot of difference if your camera's sensor isn't that high quality. But if you were using a very good camera with a high quality sensor, you'll see a lot of difference between say the 720 nanometer, nanometer conversion down to the 665 or the 590. And I also have them where I'm adding some contrast uh, to the image. And then I have some other ones that are um, just like more yellow, less blue, or vice versa. And I have some black and white ones here as well. Like for this one, maybe a dramatic black and white, uh, you know, sky, dramatic sky. Now, these profiles will work on JPEGs, TIFFs, uh, RAW files. Here is a panorama RAW file of Niagara Falls. So I could go through the various profiles I have for it and try to find one that I like. Maybe let's say that one. And then you could do processing on your own either before the profile or after the profile profile. Typically, I apply the profile first, then I do some Lightroom processing. In the case of this image, just for demonstration purposes, you could see I already did some processing to the original infrared image, and then I could go to the profile browser, and I could find a profile that works for me. I kind of like that one, 720 nanometer with high contrast. So that's it. That's some profiles for infrared photography. I thought it was something that would be unique because, as I mentioned, typically you'd have to bring your infrared image over into a program like Photoshop and do uh, color channel swaps and then do some different types of things to affect the colors in a very specific way. Hopefully, these profiles will make it a lot easier and faster for those of you that shoot infrared to process your images. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.